everyone deserves justice and everyone deserves equal protection and prosperity in our country. It is such an honor to be here, and I don't think it's a coincidence that we're gathering here today, the weekend before Martin Luther King Day. Because I believe that this moment and where we are right now is a resurgence from where the civil rights movement left off. And we are here to carry the torch forward. Because when we talked about racial and economic justice, racial and social justice, we started to, uh, to really extend those issues to the issues of economic justice, environmental justice, and the intersectionality and interconnectedness of all our fights. Justice is not a concept we read about in a book, Justice is about the water we drink. Justice is about the air we breathe. Justice about, is about how easy it is to vote. Justice is about how much ladies get paid. Justice is about if we can stay with our children after we have them for a just amount of time, mothers, fathers, and all parents. Justice is about making sure that being polite is not the same thing as being quiet. In fact, oftentimes the most righteous thing you can do is shake the table. Last year we took the power to the polls and this year we're taking power to the policy because we have taken back the House of Representatives. And that's just step one. This year we are gonna organize. This year we're gonna fight for voting rights. This year we're gonna keep pushing because 2020, we took, in, in 2018, we took the House of Representatives and through 2020, we're gonna take the White House and the Senate too. That's what we're gonna do because we need to advance and fight for an America where all people are welcome and no people are left behind. And I know that while this year has been historic, there's a lot more Congresswomen left here in this audience right now. There's a lot more city council women. There's a lot more workers that will be building uh, businesses. There's a lot more. There's an, and I know that there's a future president out here too. Let us remember that a fight means no person left behind. So when people want to stop talking about the issues that black women face, when people want to stop talking about the issues that trans women or immigrant women face, we got to ask them, why does that make you so uncomfortable? Because now, this is the time we're gonna address poverty. This is the time we're gonna address Flint. This is the time we're gonna talk about Baltimore and the Bronx and wildfires and Puerto Rico. Because this is not just about identity, this is about justice, and this is about the America that we are going to bring into this world. Thank you all very, very much. I'm so proud of you all.